Hey guys and welcome to This Merchant Life. So this game got sent to me, I, I, it's been on my radar for a little bit, it seems like a game that's right up my alleyway. I was a bit apprehensive about playing it though because it had mixed reviews and then the dev sent me and I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's just play it. Couple of complaints, straight off the motherfucking bat. Options menu, music, offer on, offer on, offer on. I want it about 20%, do that for me and you've got a thumbs up. Secondly, resolution, let me play it in 4K. Like. Please? I see why- I don't see why not. I mean, there's... The GUI seems to scale for 1080. Also, have a GUI scale as well. There's another thing. I'm turning out a fucking Total Wank Stain here. Uh, oh, sorry, his name's Total Biscuit, I forget. Mm, dick. Anyway, uh, but looking at this option menu, but yeah. Honestly, GUI scale and 4K resolution makes me happy. Anyway, let's start a new game. Right, select my background. Um, do I want to be a soldier? A excuse me, can I use can I use my mouse in this, please? A scholar, a stable hand. I can't see my fucking mouse. Can we have complaint number two? There it is. Uh, a soldier who gets one security, one is zero capacity, one is zero speed, and one can seal. A sailor, which is uh, one security bonus, ten capacity bonus, zero speed bonus, zero conceal. A stable hand, I get two speed bonus. And a scholar, I get five capacity bonus and two conceal. I would be a sailor because you are me matey, I am a, a duck pirate. Uh, your days on the everlasting sea were good days, by and large. You saw faraway lands, worked the spice lanes of the eastern cities, and peered across endless, glimmering oceans towards the abyss. You gained a healthy tan, a strong constitution, and a lifelong aversion to sea biscuits. <laughs> Total fucking sea biscuits. You've seen a power of trade, and while you can never afford your own ship, your own trading ship, a small car is a more reasonable place to start. Also, if uh, if anyone doesn't know the the reason for my hostility towards Total Biscuit. It's because he basically said that my content is shit and that I should get a real job and quit YouTube. So, fuck you, Total Biscuit, you piece of shit. Begin. The world map. Welcome to the kingdom of Peregrine. You are ready to begin this merchant life. Right now, you have 2,000 coins and a trade cart at Woodford, indicated by the red star. Alright, oh, I see it. Okay. I was like, what the fuck's the red star? Ugh. In the northwest of the kingdom. Uh, well, I should have just read on instead of asking where it was. Use the wasted to move the camera around the map. Left click on the town you are in, then the hub button to access town options. Uh, left clicking on any town directly linked to your current location brings up the option to travel there if you've got a trade permit. Right now, you have permits to travel anywhere in the forest and heartlands regions. Luckily for you, this is this includes the capital of Archon. Right mouse on any settlement to get the map and uh, on the map to get general details of it. So if I click on that and then hit hub. The Woodford, reputation unknown. The woodiest town aside of Oakville. A small border town near Holbach Forest, Woodford's a sleepy rural community with a homely reputation. They're very proud of their dressmakers here and host a market festival centered around them during the high summer. Woodford has also won the most formidable town award 25 years in a road, in, in a row, in a road, since Oakville burnt to the ground. Uh, so we can spend some time Exploring. We'll spend six hours exploring. Have a look at the market. I don't know what the green means. Com shows you how many of each resource you currently own. How many the town are willing to sell. Ah, okay, so that's the average. If it's green, it's below average. Ah, oh, I get you, I get you, I get you. Uh, the tavern, so I can hire a burly peasant called Archibald. I can donate resources in order to gain more reputation. I can escort someone which will also give me re more reputation and gold. Oh, I can fund things at the uh... I can fund things in order to gain reputation over time. So I'm guessing the reputation is going to be a massive thing. Okay, I've got two, two horsepower with a top speed of four mile an hour and then I can upgrade my vehicle to do better things. Sweet. Uh, well, let's explore, see what happens. Woodford is where it all started this merchant life, TM. You, <laughs> you drifted aimlessly after coming back to your homeland and found yourself working in Woodford as a wood splitter, swinging a rand axe to chop timber into variously sized pieces. A merchant came through town, you ended up saving his life in the forest just outside the town. 
He promised you a trade caravan for saving him, waiting for you and Randos. You took your savings, grabbed your pack and walked to Randos. That's how it all started. Drink, socialise with wood splitters in your old haunt, visit to visit your old employer here, or split, grab a random axe and go split some timber. Let's visit our old employer. You pay a visit to Jed Brannigan, a, the self-entitled Earl of Timber, in a position to lead himself uh, to give himself any title he saw fit in the imaginary kingdom of Timber, he settled for one way down the theoretical pecking order. Still, he's a good sort and points out that he actually left without receiving your last paycheck. Nice! 250 gold coins, well that was easy. Uh, right, so why don't we take this mission to escort the fine blade to Aton. Right, so we need to go to Aton and why not buy some timber? I mean, it's what the place is known for. So is there a way to choose exactly how much I buy? Or let's just grab... Oh, shizzle whizzle. Right, so I can buy until... Right, if that's got an average cost of 20, I only want to buy until it's stopping being 18. There we go. And this has got an average cost of 40, so... If I buy that until it's... Ah, I'm full now, okay. Ooh, actually. Let's just get rid of all of that and we should be back up to where we started. Maybe not. Are we losing money when we do that? I don't know. Let's buy this until... Oh, nice, okay. So we bought all of their ale out. Oh no, that is 15, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Whatever. Okay, buying and selling's clearly fucked something. I, I've probably just done myself out of a ton of cash and people are going to be shouting at me, but I don't care. So I am stage out and I am awesome. Right, anyway, we were going to... We've got our missions to go to Aton. There we go. So... Randos. Below average price for timber, hides and weapons. Above for grain, meat, iron, pottery, cloth, wine, salt, books, dyes and spices. What I bought, can't remember. Probably... It was hides and timber, anyway. What have you got? Well, average for gems, silver and iron. Alright, well let's travel here. It'll take us 15 hours. Press space while traveling to speed up time. Alright. Broke down. You happen upon a broken down wagon on the side of the road. It appears that it slid off down a relatively steep embankment, losing the front right wheel and damaging the axle in the process. Standing a little way away are two downcast looking people, a man and a woman, presumably the owners of the wagon. They look like specialist traders, hopefully not pottery or antique traders. You slow, <laughs> you slow down your cart as you pull up alongside the down vehicle. Uh, I'm going to offer to help them repair the wagon. Uh, you offer to help them fix the cart with your guards, they gladly accept a kind offer, which you almost instantly regret as soon as you take the weight of the cart to help lift it back onto the road. You'd move the barrels out first, of course, but even so, it appears that this vehicle was made from oak. Still, a combined Herculean effort eventually r results in the cart on flat ground, and a quick repair of the axle and reattaching of the wheel it won't be the smoothest ride back for them, but they'll make it back and be able to get proper repairs done. They are enormously grateful for your help and insist you take some of their cargo as payment. So we've got some goods and some determination. Whatever that is. Uh, what goods did we get though? How do I check this? So that's my health, that's my speed, capacity, etc. Uh, what goods did I get? I got two iron and I don't know if we got beer or what. I don't know. Purity, skills. Alright, we made it to Randos anyway. Felling nature's bounty. Randos is within the boundaries of the Hol Holbeck Forest, and it's actually found within an enormous artificial arbour. A large clearing where the trees still encroach above as, many, as much as they can. The Druidic scholars found sunlight here to be at least 50% more dappled than anywhere else. The city also features generous parklands and lakes, and is known for, pro pro uh, for production of tools. My face cannot speak, particularly its famous randaxes. Also home to the Hunter's Guild, said to be the finest marksmen around. Their motto, we're among the finest marksmen around. <laughs> right, well... I could sell my... Um, my ale for basically average. I could... Oh, the, the iron's above average, so let's sell those. And I could sell my ale for average, but I'm not really too fussed with that. 
Oh, you're wanting to go to Archon as well? Wait, Archon's down here. No, I'm not heading down to Archon just yet. That seems a bit nuts. Uh, so I'm going to leave that dude. And there's nothing really in the market that I want to do. You'll only be there for two trips. Caravan, here you can see the state of your caravan. And marvel at the beauty of your trade cart. That's my target rating. Oh, okay. So the more goods that we take, the more of a target we are. Ah, I got you. There's major demand for this resource. It currently outs outstrips supply. Prices are much higher than usual for many for this many hours. Oh, so we want to get to Aton and take a load of wood. Uh, consumer reduces the chance of getting attacked. You can also see how many of each resource you've got at the bottom of the sidebar. If you okay. So maybe we would want to sell this and buy some, buy some more wood. Uh, I think we bought at 54. There we go. Right, so we bought a lot of wood. Right, let's, uh, we're heading up to Aton. It's excellent safety and good speed, so let's travel for the 14 hours. A silver sun appears. While huddled around the campfire, everyone hears something snap nearby and turns to look. A figure appears, then and uh, a figure appears then a man in black in a black cloak as he steps closer he raises his hand in greeting and you can see he's wearing the silver edged black tunic of a silver sun you invite him to join you and he gladly accepts and sits alongside everyone stares at him silver suns are by far the most well-known monster hunters in peregrine they are quite secretive and so little is known about their numbers methods or structure the reputation is impressive though they are known for great heroism and martial skill there's some fear mixed in with the reverence, though, as there are also rumours of extreme brutality and mystical ceremonies, of troubling initiation ceremonies and dangerous experiments. It's hard to say how unfounded these tales might be, but they are certainly told often and in whispered tones. This man introduces himself as Sion. If you had to describe his appearance in a word, that word would be ordinary. He looks no different from your average farmer or guardsman, or for him to join the caravan for a time. Saturn grac graciously refuses the offer, saying that he is on his way back to the Order. He does offer up some useful tips for facing monsters, though. Again, there's 100 experience. That's cool. So, I don't know... Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh! So we're at Aton now. Escort success! Fine blade to Aton. Gold reward 158. God's own armory. Day and night the streets of Aton ring out with the sounds of hammers hitting metal, the town's weaponsmiths are enormously productive, and it is said that if you find yourself on the wrong end of a sword, it more than likely originated in Aton. How that's supposed to make you feel any better, it's hard to say. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, go to the market and sell off our timber that we got for a ridiculous price. Iron's also at 70, but... I thought I might have been able to buy armaments here, but apparently not. Uh, they're not really after hides. And there's nothing else that I really... want to buy. What have they got? They've got ale for a decent price, so I'll buy... I'll buy everything until the average shoots up. There we go. Uh, any missions? There's an escort mission to go to Archon. Sure, why not go to Archon? Why not? So we can hire this brawler for 500 bucks for five trips. Um, sure, let's... Let's hire Optin. Why not? Well, let's go to our cart as well, though. Supposed to get to the hub to the rim. This is wheel 101, people. So I can get improved spokes, which will give us extra speed and more resource cap. Okay, that was loud. Um, structure will give us more resource cap. And more concealment as well. Oh, that's cool that upgrades. Oh, that's really sweet. I like that. It's just a little touch, but I like it. There we go. Uh, right, I want to go to... I want to go to Serenity. Uh, what do we know about Serenity? 
Blavish price for... Oh, so they want grain and ale, and we've got grain and ale. So, let's travel to Serenity then. Alright, let's speed up. Hey, we actually made it there without any issue. Trees in every cursed direction. An isolated community dominated on all sides by the ancient trees of the Holbeck Forest. Wood felling is the main occupation here, with annual contests all revolving around some part of the process. Who can wield the axe best, drag stumps the fastest, and throw the trunks the greatest distance? Oh, Scotland then. The folks here are also famously fond of a drink or seven, as long as that drink is ale. Alright, let's head in here and... Wow! I wish we had more ale. Uh, right, and you also want my wheat for a single profit. Um, wow, that timber is cheap. Okay, so we're going to probably max out on timber. Alright, and let's get another two timber. So we've got 700 bucks. You want to go to Aton, we're going to Archon unfortunately, so I can't really take you right now. Um, 1400 to do that. Uh, we could increase our horses so we've got a bit more speed, but I would rather save the 1400. Road safety is good and speed's decent enough as well. Right, so let's go down to Archon. Moving library! It's fairly common to see a cart of some kind heading in the opposite direction. Often it turns out to be local farmers or villagers heading to the nearest town. This cart looked much like all the others on the horizon, but as it approaches you quickly detect that it's rather notable. It appears to be some sort of travelling library. A rec ah, speech. A rickety construction apparently on wheels and seeming to defy physics by moving along and not collapsing. It has a wooden roof and what appears to be a working chimney, which can't be a good idea inside of a moving vehicle. The travelling librarian, an earnest and surprisingly young fellow named Sebastian, explains that he has a world-class selection of books available to buy or borrow. Sure, give me a book. Hey, librarian is happy to lend you a book for a small fee, which you will collect whenever you next run into each other. 100 experience and wits, plus wits. So I don't know where we're getting... Uh, wits and stuff like that, like where that falls into it. Is it in my profile? I'm a novice? Oh, okay, so my wits are of average. I'm average on pretty much everything. Well, that was nice. Now, these guys want beer and these guys... Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to make it there in time for these demands, which suck. Ah, the most important place there is, Archon. Escort success! The capital of Peregrine, Archon has stood for thousands of years. The grand symbol of the nationhood are clustered around its ancient hub, while suburbs are packed in right up to the grand city walls. Like most capitals, the residents do have a certain sense of superiority and prices tend towards the excessive. Which means that I can sell pretty much everything, especially my wood, for a nice little profit. Considering I got the wood for like 12, that's 40 average. Alright, and let's buy some ale because while it's really cheap, I want to stock up. Alright, and now... I'll take me 18 hours to get there, that ain't happening. I can't, I can't buy anything anywhere else. Uh, so while we're in Archon, why don't we... Why don't we check the... Uh, you want to go to Arrow, which is over there. I was kind of thinking about- oh! I think I might have explored it by accident. It seems impossible not to be overawed by the sight of Archon, sitting at the centre of a large plane you can see from miles away. Uh, it seems to be unmoved by attempts to reach it. Eventually, though, you find yourself at the gates. Everything here is on a completely different scale. The walls of the city themselves contain so much stone that somewhere in the kingdom there must have been a mountain-sized absence or hole to the underworld. Houses sprawl from the walls with shops lining the thoroughfare into the city. In the distance, you can make out the royal quarter from where the kingdom is run, or at least that's the idea. You see three different bards standing fairly close to each other along the thoroughfare. A good chance to learn a little about the capital, but which to listen to? Exposition? The black and white bard stands magpie-like, attracting few onlookers. Red. 
Draped in a blood-red garb, a large crowd is formed around him. Smart. This bard is immaculately dressed with a feather in his cap. But unfortunately, you're going to have to find out in the next episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.